Hi, this is Nick LaPola with Simple Video Pro, and I'm here to show you the basics of how to use the Explaindio Video Creator. The installation guide shows how to install Explaindio, so I'll take it from there. Once Explaindio is installed on your system, double-click the shortcut on your desktop to run the software. Before we get started, make sure that you have your Explaindio login and password ready, because before you exit the program or save for the first time, it will require you to register. If you do not register with a valid login, it will not let you save your first project. After the first time, the login is automatic. On the initial screen, you'll see several areas. On the top are the project file functions, preview, audio, and video create functions, and the import function, which will come in very handy if you have invested in slides or SVG images from other video maker software. Next is the slide timeline. This doesn't have the classic timeline, but rather it shows the order of the slides and scenes that you have built with the time for each listed in each cell. I'll show you that in a moment. Clicking this button will add new animated slide or sketch scenes to the timeline, but as you can see, it is deactivated. This is because we need to either open an existing project or create a project with the buttons above. So let's do that first. I'll create a new project and call it Basic Tutorial. Now the Add button is active. This is the area where the slide settings are made. You can control the text, the images, the video backgrounds and insets, animation and outlines, which are objects on the animated slides. And last is the Slide Preview area. This area will show the actions for a single slide. It shows this for the slide that is selected in the timeline. Let's add a slide by clicking the Add Slide button. You have three choices. Add Animated Slide from Collection, Create a New Sketch Scene, and Add Sketch Scene from Personal Library. The last choice applies only if you have already saved a sketch scene to the library. So let's start with Animated Slide. Click Add Animated Slide from Collection. This part is similar to the way most video makers work, so it may be familiar to you. Select a slide pack on the left, then a slide from the right. The preview screen will tell you about the slide and show you a preview. Below, you can add all the slides in the pack or just a single slide. When the marketplace opens, clicking Get More Slides will open a whole new world of options for you from artists all over the world. Let's add an animation slide. All the slides work in the same way. For this example, I'll pick one slide from the Character Lisa slide pack by clicking Add Single. I'll also add a Business Presentation slide number three. I'll be switching between these two slides throughout the animation portion of this tutorial. Notice that the slide displays in the timeline at the top. To see the preview, click on the slide in the top timeline. On the left, you can manipulate the slide contents via these tabs. The first tab is for the text content. First, I suggest you let the slide preview play to the point where the text you are working on is displayed. Then click the pause button. Now as you select each text area, you'll be able to identify the text block that you're working on by the text that's in the text area. Simply type the new text in the entry field here and the slide text will display and change as you type. Once you type some text, you can change the fonts and the font properties using these drop-down selectors. For example, in this case the text is too long, so I'll reduce the font size so that it fits. I suggest you experiment with these drop-down buttons to get a feel for what they can do to enhance your text content. If you wish to change the font color, you can click the color picker and either select a color or type a color code and then hit enter. The Image tab allows you to add images. Most slides allow a background image, and some have image areas. For example, click the image area you want to edit. In this case, I'll click the background image. Then click Browse to pick an image from your hard drive. When you select an image, click Open. It becomes the background. To remove the background image, click Remove. On some slides, there's a background image and an image area. Click on image area 1 and then click browse. 
Select the desired image and click Open. The image appears in the image area. Again, click Remove to remove the background image or the image in the image area. The Video tab is unique to Explaindio. Most slides are enabled for video backgrounds. The video background is always Video Area 1. Click Video Area 1 and browse to choose an HD video from your hard drive. The video will display as the background. Clicking Video Area 2 will place a video in the inset video area, the same location as the image that I showed you just a moment ago. Browse to the video and click Open. Now the video plays in the video area. These videos will play for the duration of the slide. To adjust the slide duration, use the Delay Slide Viewpoint and Extend Slide options below. Delay Slide Viewpoint will pause the slide where the slide's focal point is so that the viewer can take in all the text or voiceover that you need to present. Extend Slide will let the slide animation finish and then pause for the specified number of seconds. This is useful if you want to highlight something or let a video and voiceover play for an extended time. To remove a video, select the video area and then click Remove. The Animation tab provides options for various additional animations for certain slides. Simply click the plus or minus to rotate through the animations. The Outline tab allows for modification of outlines, also called objects, and their colors and position. The positioning of animated objects is unique to Explaindio. To identify which outline object is selected, click the checkboxes on and off to see which objects are affected. Outline Area 1 is usually the background. To move an object, pause the preview so that the object being worked on is displayed. Then click the X offset to move it horizontally and click the Y offset to move it vertically. To change the size of an object, use the X scale and Y scale options. To change the color of an object, simply click the color picker for the outline object you're working on and choose a new color. For example, I can change the background color for this slide like this. In another unique feature, slide animation can be exported by itself as a separate video by clicking the Create Video from This Slide button. Once a slide is saved as a video, it can be used as the background for a whiteboard sketch slide, for example. Thus, animated slides can be combined with sketch slides. Just be sure the duration of both slides is the same, so plan ahead. On the top menu, click Preview to see what the video will look like. To add music, click the audio icon and choose an audio file, usually an MP3 file. Use of audio and its functions will be covered in detail in a later video. To export and create a final video, click the Create Video icon in the top menu. If you own a different video maker, you can import the slides that you invested in from that video maker simply by clicking the import icon and clicking here and then navigating to the programs folder. Then go to the slides folder and click on the folder belonging to the set that you wish to import. The entire folder will be imported. The rest of the import functions will be discussed in a later video. This is Nick Lapola from Simple Video Pro. Thank you for watching this Explaindio video creator tutorial. Now that you've created a video, you'll need a leading edge video marketing platform to play and fully monetize your video. Check out the perfect solution for you to manage and monetize all your video assets on multiple web pages from your own self-hosted video manager. Go see Simple Video Pro by clicking the link below. In the next video, I'll show you how to create awesome whiteboard sketch videos using Explaindio Video Creator. Thanks for watching.